Hi guys, it's Kath. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this miniature cobblestone walkway using some recycled egg cartons. These stones look super realistic and are surprisingly easy to create. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is grab some black and white acrylic paint. Mix them up until you get this light gray color. Then add in a drop of dark brown so that it creates this hue that kind of resembles dirty concrete. Paint that all over the area you'll want to cover in stone. While this dries, let's get to work on the actual stones. Take a paper-based egg carton, or any other packaging that has this paper mache texture. I first cut the egg carton in half, then I cut out this rounded area which has the most texture. Flatten it out and cut out a bunch of squares or rectangles. The size of these will depend on the scale you're working on. The ones I'm making are for 1 to 36 scale. You can use the lid area as well. The easy trick is to cut a bunch of straight lines down one side, and then cut them down the other way so you get several rectangles at a time. Once you have a bunch of randomly sized pieces, we can start gluing them down. I'm just using regular PVA paper glue for this. I lay down a big piece first and then surround it with smaller pieces. There's really no order or pattern to this. You just want to make sure you're not laying down too many big or small pieces together. Once they all lay down and you're happy with the look, we're going to seal it with some more glue. We'll be adding on a lot of paint, so sealing this will prevent any water-based paint from soaking into the paper egg carton. Once all the glue is dry, I'm going in with silver acrylic paint all over the stones. This will give the stones a metallic sheen that will come through even as we add more paint. Then I take this neutral gray paint and add it to most of the big stones. It covers up the metallic silver in those areas. Then with this light mustard color, randomly add paint all across the ground. Just FYI, all the paint I'm using is from a box set and the link to it is in the info box below. I add some raw sienna next. I also use these other shades of reddish brown. I know this looks like colorful flint corn right now, but I promise we'll tie all the colors together. It's helpful to use a reference picture of your cobblestone walkway for the most realistic colors. The last paint we'll add is this concrete color that we mixed in the beginning. Add this to a few more stones and then we're ready to seal it. I'm using polyacrylic varnish here as a sealant. The reason we're sealing it is because we'll be rubbing in some grout later. If we don't seal the paint, the colors will rub off and bleed into one another. Look at that shiny luster from the varnish. Once the varnish is dry, it's time to grout. I'm using the spackling because it dries quickly and won't shrink. Just get some on your fingers and rub it into the stones. This will fill in all the space between the stones and give you an even pavement. This part is super easy and very satisfying. See how the spackling leaves some white residue on top of the stone? Keep that there because it gives it some really nice detail. Take some of the same dirty concrete color we mix and add that sparingly on the grout lines for a warm look. Then all you need to do is sealing the grout so it doesn't crumble or crack off. I'm using regular PVA glue again for that job. Wait for that to dry and you're all done. This process is so easy and the result is gorgeous. The pavement is part of a dollhouse kit I'm building and I can't wait to show you the finished house very soon. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye!